Hi everyone, Rich Crescenti here with a new series of videos all about how I use Melodyne to solve everyday problems. Now most of the time when people think about Melodyne, they think about vocal pitch correction and it's great for that. So I want to mix it up a little bit and start with bass today. Now in most modern music, your bass needs to be huge and consistent. It needs to be consistent in terms of level, in terms of timing. It is the foundation that all the rest of the music is built upon. So let me show you how I use Melodyne to clean some of this up. Now, to start off, I could use compression, saturation, distortion, a gate, a lot of other ways to solve these problems. But I find that the better your source audio is, the more I can use those for creative tonal shaping and less for corrective reasons. And Melodyne is great at cleaning up your source audio. So first up, I've got some extraneous string noise. Check this out. That little squeak right there is doing nothing for this track and it's only robbing of, of impact and power. So this makes it really easy and Melodyne, I can just come over here and select this noise and delete it. So now what we get is great, much cleaner and clearer. You could do that in your DAW with standard editing. But as you can see right here, Melodyne makes it very easy to see where the note ends and where the noise begins. Next up, what I'd like to talk about is level. With bass, this is really important. And if we look at these two notes right here, we see this first blob, as they call it, is a lot smaller than this second blob, meaning that first note is not as loud. So I can just come over here to my amplitude tool and drag that up so that they are the same in level, getting a much more consistent performance that way. Now, Melodyne 5 has a brand new tool that is our leveler macro. And this is great for taking loud notes and bringing them down a little bit and soft notes and bringing them up a little bit, just evening out the consistency in performance right there. Very, very useful tool available in Melodyne 5. If you only have Melodyne 4, that's not a problem. You can still just use your amplitude tool and correct the amplitude of individual notes as you need to. Next up, let's look at pitch. Because of the way this bass was played, we've got some notes that are sharp and some notes that are flat. If we look at this note right here, we see 25 cents sharp. If we look at this note right here, we see that this note is 12 cents flat. Now, with I can easily just come over here to my pitch tool and double click on it and set that right to the note center it should be at. Nice and easy. Melodyne 5 has a new and improved pitch detection and correction algorithm. So this works better than it ever did before. This still works in Melodyne 4, and there is also a pitch macro also available in Melodyne 4, but this detection and correction works even better in Melodyne 5. Next up, I wanna talk a little bit about timing. If we look at these notes right here, we see that these two notes came in late. So I can easily come over here to my time tool and just move those notes so that they hit right on the downbeat like they're supposed to. Very, very easy to do. Next, we've got a situation of a note that was swallowed, that was played improperly. Yeah, you can hear that note is just swallowed right there. So I'm gonna copy and paste another note in its place. Really easy with Melodyne. The note that was flubbed, I'm just gonna delete. I'm gonna take this note that was played correctly, right click on it and copy it come right over here to the note where I want to be, drop my cursor, put that in and paste it. And we get the note starting at exact the right time. I can come over here to my timing tool and make sure that note starts where it should. And now we get clean, clear, consistent bass. Okay, so one last bonus tip that I want to show everybody right here, which is available in Melodyne Studio, which is the harmonics processor. Now, if we look right here, we see the harmonics and the fundamental, right? Number one is our fundamental, the second harmonic, the third harmonic, et cetera. But there is also this area right here, which is all of the information that is below your fundamental. So this could be a vibration of the body itself or anytime you accidentally clacked against the pickup. By choosing all of these notes and lowering this right here, I'm just getting rid of all that subsonic, non-musical information. So we end up with a bass track that is clean, clear, consistent in terms of timing, in terms of level. This is going to give your track the impact that it needs. Thanks for watching.